Currently, jet engines, like less powerful turboprop engines, use a highly flammable fossil fuel called kerosene. Kerosene is made from oil and is injected directly into jet engines, where it explodes, heating and expanding air that has been compressed by the engine. This explosive process creates enormous thrust, which pushes huge airplanes forward at very high speeds. Unfortunately, kerosene is a fossil fuel, so it produces greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide when it burns. For its zero-emission planes, Airbus plans to develop a gas turbine engine that can burn hydrogen in the same way. They also plan to use embedded electrical motors that are powered by hydrogen fuel cells. The benefit of this is that hydrogen turns into water when it burns with oxygen, so these planes would emit zero pollution into Earth's atmosphere. Unfortunately, this dream faces obstacles that Airbus will have to overcome before 2035, which is the ambitious deadline set for the project's completion. Apart from the technical challenges of getting engines to work with only hydrogen, there is also the problem of safely storing and transporting hydrogen. Hydrogen is a gas that has to be cooled to minus 253 degrees Celsius to turn it into a liquid. That means it has to be cooled to minus 253 degrees before it is pumped into the plane, and it has to be kept at this incredibly low temperature in the plane and all the way into the engine.